Hey ladies, so I'm here because I want to do a what's in my bag date night edition. Hubby and I are going to the movies because he's a big Batman fan. And so we're going to be going to see that tonight. And then I did want to show you what's in my makeup case. I've been kind of hoarding a couple of new beauty items that I have. And then I also went in my makeup stash and tried to pull out some products that I want to start trying to incorporate. You know how we are, ladies. We get kind of attached to certain beauty products and we have a stash that we need to get into and switch things up or not, you know, whatever tickles your fancy. But, um, so yeah, I'm going to show you what's in here, but let's do that. What's in my purse first. So this is the bag that I'm going to be carrying to the movies. Nice, small, um, I'm not going to need much and this strap is very long so i'm gonna just be carrying it on my shoulder very cute and it's a very small bag so this will be quick so inside of here i have this keys soul care comforting balm i'm just going to use this if i need to moisturize my hands Using samples in smaller bags is one of my favorite things to do. You get to try new products and you don't really take up that much room in your smaller bags. So I'm going to be using this if I need to moisturize my hands. And then we have our strawberry pound cake um, hand sanitizer. And then I have the lip gloss that I'm wearing today, which is the Too Faced Sugar Plum Lip Gloss. That's what I have on my lips. And then the last thing that I have is my ID. So that is what will be in my date night bag. I don't need much. I will put this back in here so I can show you guys the bag one last time. Very cute, very Simone. <laughs> okay, so now let's get into this makeup case. So, like I said, I've just been storing some new beauty items in here and I took some things out of my stash that I wanna start incorporating, trying out. So this is a little overview. Let's get into it. So the first thing is this Victoria's Secret Mandarin and Honeysuckle Dry Spray. It does smell like a creamsicle. So Yasina's Beauty Room, I'm pretty sure that's her YouTube name. I'm going to link her below. She's been doing a lot of hauls. She um, talks a lot about fragrance things on her channel and makeup. So if you're into that, you'll probably really like her. And... Yeah, it smells like, it smells like a creamsicle. It does smell like that. It smells almost like a florally creamsicle. So I like to spray this in my hair, just freshen your hair up. So yeah, and it has vitamin E in it. And it says that it's good for multiple hair types. So I really like this from Victoria's Secret. And then I had this Lip Smacker Bear Set. I've been really wanting to get my hands on these because I see them in you ladies' What's in My Bag videos, and I think that they are so cute. Um, Patty specifically said that the pineapple one was her favorite, and this one is called Pineapple Ever After. So I can't wait to open this up and try it out. And then this one is Love You Strawberry Much this pink one so the fact that her favorite one that she raved about was attached to the pink one you guys know pink is my favorite color was perfect so i ended up getting this from target so i did do my nails today i have some little stones on my press ons something simple cute but i also picked up these from tj maxx these pretty iridescent kind of glitter nails i thought they were really pretty so i picked those up i did pick up a couple of nail polish and i have used three of these um i just took the nail polish off this morning i've been practicing 
my nail polish application so it's a bb nail polish set and this color is like a fuchsia color and it's called think pink then we have this really pretty like iridescent pink color it has like gold glitter in it and it's called blossom and then we have this really pretty soft baby pink in the color lovely and then lastly we have this peachy pink color called sassy i thought these were really cute so i tried those out and so far my favorite is think pink that hot pink color is really pretty so i also got this bh cosmetics miss bella rosy blush palette i am wearing the 90s remix palette again i really like this palette and i did hear that bh was going bankrupt so i do recommend you guys going to try out that eyeshadow palette i will start to incorporate using this blush and i'll let you ladies know how i like it so i'm really interested in trying like this color over here that peachy color is gonna look so pretty i think and then this one too this is a nice color as well but i'm most excited for these two outermost colors so those are really pretty and shout out to mike i was on rose rose's 90 live um andrea from queen b andrea was on there and he watches my videos and he was really nice so shout out to mike and then i have my sailor moon palette you guys sailor moon used to be my show okay us 90s babies in our sailor moon so i'll show you the colors oh i don't there's no mirror so i don't have to color cover it up but do you see that this design on this package is so pretty and these colors are very pretty y'all want to swatch let's swatch a couple of colors okay i'm gonna show you look at that so pretty right and I've just recently been playing in eyeshadow palettes. Sometimes I would stray away from it because I feel like I wasn't really good at it. But why not play? So I have a perfume sample of YSL Libre. And the fragrance notes are Orange Blossom, Sensual White Flower, and Twisted Lavender. So yeah, I just have this sample that I want to try out. I don't have one per perfume today so far. I'm just using my um, Peach Prosecco Macaroon. And so maybe I'll try it out. So I have my Sand and Sky um, Little Mirror Duo. And it says, hey there, hot stuff. I thought this was cute that I should start putting it in my purse. And it is a mirror on the other side so I thought this was cute okay I have this color I thought would be a cute spring color it's called Taylor to tease by Mac I will swatch it for you it's very pretty very pigmented it's beautiful Mac has some of my favorite lip colors um, I also have this Tarte lip paint. I don't really too much pay attention to Tarte anymore or buy many of their products. I was really into them um, in my early 20s, but I kind of strayed away. But this color is called Yes. And it's like that bright purple. I feel like these bright colors would be fun for spring. I have a MAC Lip Gloss and Money Honey. Really like this gloss. Look at how pretty. Look at that. Ugh. I also have this nail polish, this cool mint nail polish. This is really pretty. It's from the um, Dippin' Dots line from salon perfect so you can get this at walmart you guys and it will go so good with my top that i'm wearing today this is so pretty 
I have a couple of fragrances that I want to use. This is Bonbon and this cute little bow. I know one of the fragrance notes in here is caramel, pretty sure. So I have that. And then this Dolce & Gabbana Rose perfume. This smells really good. Really good. I really like this one. They had a whole line and I think some of the other ones are like Garden and Shine. So I would definitely check out that line of fragrances. So I have this Olay hand serum. I was using this and I really liked it. So this has B3 in it. It's supposed to be really good for your hands. So I'm trying to use that again. I have my Carolina Herrera perfume, the original one. I really like this. And I only have a really little bit of this left. So I was thinking that I could wear it and try to get through that. I have a Prada Candy sample. This is really nice. I like getting these from Sephora when I order things. It's a little mini roller ball. All right, I do have some more lippies. So, and then I just have literally two more things. So I have this Electric Mood lip gloss. It's like a frosty gloss. Is very pretty see it right here and then I have my Barbie lip gloss and this one is cool because you press this little button and it pops up this one is mostly just really glossy it does have some yellow gold in it but it's just mostly like a clear little gloss but I thought this would be cute to carry around. And then I have this Lip Plumping Transforming Top Coat by Ulta. Another really pretty gloss. So this is this one. Very pretty to top a lipstick or something. That would be cute. All right, and the last two things I have in here are belly button rings. Um, this is just your pretty, your standard, pretty much your standard belly ring. And then I got this new one that I should have in plastic, but I don't. And it's like a little puffy heart that is blinged out. So that's everything that's in my makeup case. I hope you ladies enjoyed that and I will see you soon.